Life is pain. You know how many times I wanted to just give up? How many times I've thought about ending it? Life is hard. Easy, it's not an option. But it's worth fighting. It's worth believing. It's worth giving yourself a chance. It's worth mustering yourself up, standing up inside yourself. It's worth fighting relentlessly, never giving up. It's worth fighting a good fight. It's worth being around motivated, positive people. It's worth being up-tempo. It's easy to have faith and feel good when you're feeling good and you have no pain and your bills are paid and you got a clean bill of health from the doctor. It's easy to be motivated then. But when that's not the situation, it's hard. When you look in the mirror, you don't see the person that you once saw. It's hard. I know it's hard, but do it hard. It's necessary that you take charge that you begin to stand up inside of yourself, that you dry your tears and you're not given the luxury of feeling sorry for yourself, that you got to get in a fighting mode. You can't surrender. You can't be a chump. You got to fight back. You got to stand up and start. So wait a minute, what is it I need to do? You got to make yourself move even if it hurts. Many people have been written off and said, this one won't survive. And they did. It's possible. You've got to believe in your heart of hearts that it's possible that you can beat this. Your belief, your faith, your drive, your determination, your persistence, your perseverance, your spirit, greater is he that is in you than what's out here in this world. So you've got to decide, you've got to say, it's possible that I can beat this. And it's necessary that I do this. In spite of the pain and the conditions, you've got to mobilize your mind and your spirit. There's nothing as powerful as a made up mind. I'm not through yet. I've got to work. I have an assignment that's incomplete. I'm not through yet. I'm not going out like this. I'm going to fight. And when you do, when you give it the best that you can, when you keep on trying, you're seeking, you're asking, you're knocking, something happens. The universe opens up for you. There's certain things in your life that you cannot afford to quit on. I'm in Times Square right now. I look around, I see all these companies. And the first thought that comes to my mind is that they didn't quit. Because I know anything that's big once started off as small. I know they hit challenges, roadblocks, obstacles, rejection. People probably looked at them crazy but they didn't quit. In your life, when times get hard, when setbacks come, that should let you know that you're on the right track. The journey is about progression, not perfection, right? It's not gonna be perfect. If the peak is worth reaching, the climb is gonna be hard. I know, I know, I know you're ready to give up. I know, I feel you, you're ready to give in. You're like, I've never gone through this before. Or maybe you're at the darkest point of your life and you're ready to give up. You're at a point in your life where you feel like it's do or die. You're going through so much pain. You're going through so much agony. You're ready to give up. You're ready to quit. Listen to me very carefully. You are a warrior and it's time for you to fight. Look, that test might not go away. That pain might not go away. That fight might not go away. You are a warrior. It's time for you not to back up, not to give up, not to give in. Stop letting stuff derail you. Stop getting stuck. Every time life don't go your way, stop getting stuck. Stop quitting. Stop giving up. Keep fighting in the midst of the struggle. Keep fighting. Keep thinking positive. Keep going. You only lose when you quit. Remember what makes you different from the weak. The difference between the weak and the strong is that when the strong have no more left, they fight, they fight, they fight. The weak, they quit, they give up, they give in, and there's nothing weak about you. So I need you to fight your way through it. I'm a fucking fight. When I'm laying in a hospital bed with two and needles sticking out of my ass. Will I continue to fight? Yes! When I'm laying dead on this motherfucking floor, 
will I continue to fight? Yes. Why do you do it? I can't help my self. I'm a fighter. And that's what fighters do.